The voting process begins with the authentication of the voter. By capturing your biographic and biometric information, poll station workers will allow the system to validate the information on your ID card and ensure your fingerprint matches the records in the database, confirming you are who you claim to be. Only after this process is completed will the poll station president activate your voting session. When choosing your candidates using the e-ballot, your choices are instantly reflected on the voting machine screen, so you can verify they are registered correctly. You can make changes or corrections by pressing a different option on the e-ballot. When you're finally sure of your choice, you press Vote on the screen. The machine digitally encrypts and stores your vote and prints a paper voucher. You should review it, fold it, and deposit it in the ballot box. After the system validates you as a voter, your ID number is stored in a machine's temporary memory. When you vote, your encrypted vote is stored in a different, independent, temporary memory. This is done at random and following the strictest security protocols with an encryption key shared by five parties. It is impossible to associate your ID number with your vote. Once the polls close, the machines count the votes stored and print vote count copies for witnesses of the political parties. Up to that point, the voting machines have been offline, but once the votes and its copies are printed, a connection is established to send the information to tallying centers via secure and encrypted channels. At the tallying centers, the voting information is received, sources are validated, and if found authentic, the information is stored instantly. As soon as the system consolidates all of the votes received, results are ready to be published by authority. Before, during, and after the voting process, 13 audits take place to validate the performance of all system components, including an exhaustive source code review overseen by technicians from all political parties. To begin, a zero vote count is printed, certifying that there are no votes stored in the machines. After each vote is cast, a voucher is printed, and when polls close, every machine prints its vote count minute, with several copies for witnesses. In Venezuela, minutes are checked against paper vouchers for over 50% of machines. Finally, the digital results of every polling station and center are published online, so political parties can check them against the respective vote count minutes.